This is what your Harley Davidson motorcycle is supposed to do when you turn it on. All right, everybody, what is up? What is up? As always, thanks for stopping by to another video today. As you can see, we are in the garage with my 2022 Harley Davidson Softail Street Bob. And so what we are going to do today is I'm gonna show you guys how I was able to get this thing fixed up and started after a pretty uh, disappointing weekend a couple weekends ago when I went out to get this thing started up to go on a camping trip. If you guys saw that last video of mine, I was heading out on a camping trip and the street bob would not start. <laughs> I told a little bit of that story um, on the way to the camping trip. If you guys saw that, you know I was talking about how I was hitting the on switch to the street bob and just literally nothing was happening. No electrical, no noise, no lights, absolutely nothing. So after a little while, I did have some time to finally dig in there. I'm gonna tell you guys what the problem was, what the solution was, and show you guys how we got that fixed up. So I will say that it is fixed up now. So what I'm gonna show you guys or describe is what I was experiencing the other day when I could not get the street bob to turn on, no electrical, no nothing. So I rode this bike to work the day before the trip, just kind of as like a, you know, a pre preparation, you know, make sure everything's running, make sure everything's organized, ready to go for this about 400 mile trip we were going on. It was all good, rode it to work, turned on, turned off, started up, everything was perfect. Parked it when I got home from work, came out the very next day to get it all packed up for the camping trip and absolutely nothing. So what the problem was when I came up here, hit the on switch, you see just like that, that's obviously what it's supposed to do. We got all of our lights kicked on here. We got our dash. You heard the fuel pump pressurize, all that good stuff. You heard that little whining noise that we're all used to and familiar with. We got our dash lights here and everything. But when I came out that day, I had absolutely nothing. No noise, no lights, no electrical, not a single thing was happening. I had no clue what it was. So again, I came out and I just kept hitting that on switch so many times over and over. I couldn't actually believe what was happening. I was so disappointed and I didn't really have a lot of time to like dive into it. It was the craziest thing. I had no dash, no noise, no on noises, anything like that. No lights, absolutely nothing, absolutely blank. So from there, I knew it kind of had to be an electrical issue. So I was a little bit short on time. So my first inclination was, okay, let me go ahead and like check the battery terminals, stuff like that. So of course I went ahead, I popped the seat off, I started diving into the battery a little bit, I'm checking the terminals, everything was tight there. Over the positive, the negatives, I start checking all these other little connections. I don't even, didn't even really know too much of what I was looking at at the time, because I mean, I'm no mechanic, I'm not too familiar with the inner workings of this stuff, especially a lot of the electrical that's going on here. And like I said, I was also rushed because I was kind of on a timeline. I had to get over to meet up with everybody to get on this camping trip. but. I also checked the voltage of the battery. Battery's new, it was good. It was hitting the proper numbers there. And again, you know, I'm checking the terminals. I got the covers off and everything like that. Everything was tight. The battery was good. And this thing still just would not turn on with any electrical. So at this point, I'm really frustrated. I can't get the bike on. I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to take my Sportster. As you guys know, I've got a 2019 Iron 1200. I took that on the camping trip, which was fine, but I was just a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to take the Street Bob here. I was excited to get that out on a longer type camping trip. But at this point, I'm thinking like, it's gotta be a connection or the wiring or something. I really had no idea, but I went ahead, I took off on the Sportster and just kind of forgot about it for the weekend. And I was like, ah, I'll deal with it. You know, when I get back, I'll do some more research and everything like that, did some research. And then finally, after doing some research, I started to realize that I was going to have to dig into right here to get into the fuses. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys what I did to fix this. If you guys are ever experiencing this, if you have absolutely no electric coming on when you go to hit that on switch, this could be the issue you're having. Of course, you wanna make sure you check your battery connections and all that good stuff first. Make sure everything's connected, make sure your battery's good. If it is, then go ahead and dive into this side where you might be having some issues with some fuses. 
So what I did was I went ahead, we took our Allen key here, I'm gonna pop off this side cover to where we can access where the fuses are located. Go ahead and pop your side cover off right here. And then we're gonna get right into where the fuses are located. You can grab that right here, slide it off. And then this is going to give you a look at your fuses here. So the next thing you do, once you get your fuses located, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take the cover off. That's where you're gonna actually be able to start checking these things. So once you slide that cover off here, of course, obviously you got your cover here, they actually give you some extra fuses in this little pouch right here, which is good. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull some of these out here to see if any of them have blown. So you got your main fuse here. It's even gonna label them for you on the outside. It's gonna show you you've got your main fuse, you've got an open spot, system, tender, and battery. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do when you start getting down into this section is pulling these fuses out to check and see if any of these are blown. And so for me, what I found is when I pulled out that five amp battery fuse right here, this brown one, we can take a look at it. This is the exact one that I had pulled out. You're gonna to wanna to take a look in the middle. I'm not sure if the camera will focus in on that or pick it up there, but the fuse is gonna have a little white zigzag element in there. And if you can see it's blown, I think you should be able to see it right here. It's gonna be disconnected. You're gonna see it's blown and it's disconnected. The element in there is not connected. That's how you can know this thing is blown. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead Take one of your replacement fuses that they should have here in the pouch for you, pull the old one out, pop the new one right in there, and you should be good to go. That's actually what solved my issue of not having any electrical to my bike that day, was that five amp battery fuse was busted, it was blown out, replaced it with the new one, and it was good to go. The thing started right up, popped out the old one, popped in the new one, came up here, hit the on switch, and it was all fixed up, good to go, bike fired right up, and I took it out for a ride. So if you guys have ever experienced that situation where you're not getting any electrical to your bike, you know your battery's good, your terminals are tight and good, battery's all situated, that might be what it is. You might have a blown fuse down here. So go ahead, pop off your side cover, check your fuses. Again, if it is blown, you're gonna see that gap within the white element there. Hopefully it comes up on camera. Hopefully that blown part comes out on the camera right there. I think you should be able to see it right there. You want to pull that out, put in the new one. Should be all set and good to go. So guys, let me know if you guys have ever had this issue with any of your Milwaukee 8s. Let me know if this is a common occurrence. So obviously my next question or concern is going to be, what was it that made that fuse blow? Hopefully this isn't a bigger lingering issue with my street bob to where it's gonna keep blowing. I think I might have to have the electrical system looked at by Harley kind of in a more in-depth scale. So I'll probably have them do that soon. I might get a 5K service, say, hey, you know, take a look at my electrical a little bit closer. But if you guys have any idea or indication on what might be causing fuses to blow, that's the first time I've ever had this happen. Fortunately, hopefully it was a fluky thing. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. But if you guys have any knowledge or indication of what might have made that happen, go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Or if you've ever had this happen to you, of course, let me know because I'll be curious to see how common of an occurrence is. So make sure you go ahead and drop it down in the comments. Let me know how much involvement you guys have ever had to have with any fuse situations on your bike. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much all I got for you today. I just wanted to let you guys know how we got that situation rectified. I know a lot of people commented on the last video with what they thought was wrong. They said, you know, update us, keep us posted when you figure out what it is, how you get it fixed. Simply a blown battery fuse. So if you guys ever had that situation, hopefully this video can help you out. Get down in there, check your fuses, get them replaced. Should be good to go, but we always wanna double check and make sure it's not a bigger issue that might keep happening. But that is everything we got for you today. As always, thanks for stopping by to watch this video. If this helped you out at all, if you like anything we got going on here, make sure you go ahead and like this video, drop a comment down there, and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything we got going on out there. As always, make sure you ride safe out there, make it a good one, guys. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all down the road. Peace.